All right, so recently, the Google CEO Sundar Pichai made the headlines by claiming that AI is now handling over 25% of the new code that Google runs out. Yes, you heard that right, 25%. I mean, that's not a small number. Basically, yes, robots are writing code, and no, they're not asking for coffee breaks. I guess welcome to the future, right? But apparently he says it's a boost in productivity, which is nothing but pretty much like a digital intern that writes code while the humans, they're pretty much still scratching their heads half the time. But don't get too nervous. The humans are keeping an eye on the bot generated code. It's more like you tell the AI to draft the code and then we are like, okay, not bad. Let's just tweak that little bit you almost broke. And this is called quality control in Google style, I guess. Well, of course, with AI now doing its fair share, we may be looking at a few extra features or what the rest of us call bugs, I guess. And AI might make code faster, but it still needs that human touch to keep it from turning into a digital dumpster fire. And it's not just Google jumping on the AI hype. Of course, coders everywhere are getting very hands-on with AI tools like GitHub Pilot or Cursor. And it's a bit like asking your laptop to handle your homework. Sometimes it's amazing, but sometimes you have to remind it that two plus two is still four. But honestly, I also have been using Cursor quite a bit, and I think it's really good when it comes to autocomplete, or when it comes to refactoring your code, or when it comes to manipulating your arrays, objects in any way you ask it to. I think it's super good at doing all of those very fast and very quick. So yeah, I won't discard AI completely, but still claiming 25% of your code is written by AI is a pretty big deal considering how big Google's code base must be if you count all their products they have ever launched. Writing the entire 25% on your own versus having a human write it then refactor it doesn't mean it's entirely written by AI. They both go pretty much hand in hand. Now at this rate, we might soon be saying something like Alexa, build my website and then voila, here you go, it's done by lunch. Well, seems like the machines are taking over a quarter of our work anyway. So here's to the brave new world of writing code using AI, where bots become coders and we are just simply supervising them from the coffee machine, I guess. So I guess AI at this moment is pretty much the intern that never needs a nap and at least it doesn't ask for a raise yet. But keeping all this in mind, in spite of all the sarcasm, I think if you are not using these AI tools in your everyday life, I think your productivity is really getting wasted because I think most people would agree with me here that if you have a feature to build on and deliver, then with AI, things become five times faster, at least for me. Or maybe I'm just not that good of a coder. But either way, it certainly helps. But at the same time, claiming 25% of your code base is completely and entirely written by AI is something that surely needs to be reconsidered because sometimes you just have to show up these terms in order to maybe show your potential investors that everything that you're building is actually worthy enough and doing its job accordingly and saving you costs as a company. Whereas the real story could be entirely something else. This could certainly put a lot of software engineers under the fear or impression that their jobs are going to run out. But believe me, if you're someone who can work with it, work with AI, then you are an inch closer or way more than an inch closer to maybe becoming an entrepreneur and building your next million dollar project.